Today, we explore the world of green supplements, focusing on a popular choice. Athletic Green. AG1. 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 Often celebrated for its health benefits, from mental clarity to immune defense, AG1 packs a complex blend of ingredients. But beyond the buzz, what truly happens at a molecular level when you consume this green powder? As chemists, our curiosity drives us to understand the underlying science. What compounds are at play? And how do they interact to potentially enhance mental performance and overall health? Join us as we dissect the biochemistry of nutritional supplements and reveal the interactions that could make a difference in your body. Let's dive deep into the real science behind these green formulas. AG1 claims that what makes the recipe give you mental power are the molecules pantothenic acid, otherwise known as vitamin B5, folate, otherwise known as vitamin B9, and niacin, otherwise known as vitamin B3. So how can these compounds be linked to increase mental performance and reduce tiredness and fatigue? Before we get into that, we should briefly explain some terms to paint a clear picture. First of all, mental performance, tiredness, and fatigue are subjective terms, meaning that different professionals define them differently. Since we are chemists, however, we will focus on the neuroscience definitions at hand. In neuroscience, mental performance is said to involve six cognitive function domains. This includes complex attention, cognitive control, learning and memory, language, perceptual motor control, and social cognition. Whilst we are no neuroscientists and can't explain fully how these processes work, one thing we can tell you as chemists is that these processes are performed with the help of neurotransmitter molecules and neurons which are nerve cells. So what are neurotransmitters and neurons? To put it simply, neurons are a specialized form of a cell, kind of like how red blood cells are too. When we say specialized, it means that these cells have a specific function that they have evolved over time to carry out. In the case of neurons, the function is to send and receive chemical messages, and these chemical messages are contained in the form of neurotransmitters. Essentially, neurotransmitters are small molecules released at the end of nerve fibers. Once released, they can be detected by receptors found on the outside of other nerve fibers allowing for communication between different neurons, which is also said to be part of the reason as to why we are able to have mental performance. Now based on this, we reach the point where we can look at the compounds found in AG1. They claim that vitamin B5 improves mental performance. Well, let's see if it actually does this. Vitamin B5 is this molecule right here, and is a precursor for a very important molecule known as acetyl-CoA. Why is acetyl-CoA important, you may ask? Well first, it is used in the Krebs cycle, which we can see right here, resulting in the production of CO2, NADH, and GTP or ATP. ATP is important in cellular processes as it provides energy for biochemical reactions to take place, which is achieved through the energy contained in the phosphate bonds. But more importantly, in the context of mental performance, acetyl-CoA is used in the N-acetylation of proteins, which simply means adding this group right here to a protein's N-terminus, which you can think of as the starting point of the protein. Tardy et al. suggests that 85% of human proteins are acetylated, showing the importance of this process, and the in particular state that these acetylated proteins are found in the nervous system structures. Therefore, we can reason that supplementation of vitamin B5 results in more acetyl-CoA, which is involved in acetylation of nervous system proteins, which could in turn result in better mental performance. But this isn't the only link of vitamin B5 to mental performance. So what else is there? Well, vitamin B5 is also an important precursor for the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which is said to have an important role in learning and memory. In particular, it has been reported that acetylcholine enhances the persistent spiking of individual cortical neurons, which could provide a mechanism for active maintenance of novel information. But this isn't all it is said to do, as you can see right here. Some research does back the importance of vitamin B5 for general well-being. Hodges et al. performed an experiment where they allowed patients to be B5 deficient using specific inhibitors and giving patients a B5 deficient diet. A few weeks after, the patients reported several symptoms, including fatigue, headaches, and insomnia. The patients then received supplementation of vitamin B5 and a few weeks later reported that their symptoms went away. Despite this, however, there is no direct link between vitamin B5 intake and improved mental function, and more research is required to find direct results and draw more concrete conclusions. Now, vitamin B5 isn't the only compound they claim to increase mental performance, so what about folate and niacin? To remind you again, folate is simply vitamin B9, and that's this molecule right here. 
Similarly to how B5 is linked to the improved production of the neurotransmitter acetyl-CoA, B9 is also involved in the production of other important neurotransmitters. Which ones, you may ask? Well, it would be none other than the ever-so-famous dopamine and serotonin, which play a vital role in our moods and decision-making. Typically, when you think of dopamine, you think of pleasure and happiness, and that's perfectly normal because dopamine is sort of a reward molecule. Have you ever noticed that when you sit down to eat your favorite meal, you usually feel really good and happy doing so? Part of the reason you feel that way is because your body is rewarding you for eating, feeding it, and keeping yourself alive. Kinda cool, right? But enough about food and happiness. What are the roles of dopamine and serotonin in mental performance? Dopamine and serotonin play crucial roles in decision making. We already started by saying that dopamine is a reward system, and it essentially does this by helping your brain figure out if something is worth your effort based on past experiences. Serotonin, on the other hand, helps us learn from bad decision outcomes. It can be viewed as a teacher who not only shows you what's right, but also highlights the pitfalls to avoid. Researchers such as R. Rogers have used pharmacological experiments to understand these roles better. They found that dopamine and serotonin systems can influence your choices dramatically, from what you decide to eat to riskier choices like gambling or social interactions involving fairness. There are many other ways in which serotonin and dopamine are involved in mental performance, such as cognitive flexibility and control. This becomes beyond the scope of this video. Vitamin B9 is also said to take part in the methylation processes in the cerebral cortex, which is super important in higher level processes, including language, memory, and reasoning. Methylation refers to the addition of methyl groups to a molecule, and whilst this change does not seem big, it is said to influence neurotransmitter systems and brain plasticity. As a bonus, and to highlight the importance of methylations, in the pharma industry there is something known as the magic methyl effect. This is because the addition of a methyl group to a drug has been found to more often than not improve the drug's pharmacokinetics, which is a fancy way of saying the way the drug interacts and is expelled by your body. Now we move on to niacin. Niacin plays a pivotal role in supporting cognitive health not only through its involvement in metabolic function, but also by safeguarding the brain's structural integrity. Its essential contributions to neuroprotection and neurotransmitter synthesis are underpinned by its role as a precursor for NAD and NADP, which are vital for over 400 enzymatic reactions. These pathways, including glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain are the backbone of neuronal energy supply, essential for cognitive processes such as memory, attention, and problem solving. Beyond its metabolic importance, niacin is crucial in the synthesis of neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine vital for mood regulation and cognitive function, much like we described earlier. Its transformative impact extends to the cellular level, which plays a significant role in DNA repair, crucial for maintaining neuronal health and function. Niacin enhances the repair of DNA by boosting the activity of enzymes involved in the DNA repair process. This is critical because DNA damage in neurons can lead to functional impairments and contribute to neurodegenerative diseases. The processes of DNA repair involves the identification and correction of damage to the DNA structure, ensuring the integrity of genetic information is maintained and accurately replicated. This function is vital in the brain where neuronal cells are highly active and subjected to oxidative stress, leading to DNA damage. And with that, we have made it to the end of our video. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about the importance of understanding chemistry before making any purchasing decisions. If there are any of you watching this video who have tried AG1, please let us know what you thought of it in the comments down below. Do you notice any improvements in your mental performance? If you liked our video, be sure to share it with your friends and family, and feel free to drop any other comments below. Subscribe if you want to follow us and support our channel. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye bye.